Good morning, Birdland. Look, I get it. The Orioles' opening day roster is downright depressing. There are only a handful of legitimate Major League players present, and Andrew Kashner got the ball to begin the season. That feels like a joke. But this is only a temporary situation. This Orioles team will, in general, add talent from this point forward. Pedro Araujo will be sent down the minute that he's eligible. Alex Cobb will be back in less than a week. Austin Hayes will get healthy, play a few months in Norfolk and make his way to Baltimore eventually. Hunter Harvey, Brandon Klein and Tanner Scott will pitch out of the O's bullpen at some point. We may even get a chance to see Ryan Mountcastle or use Neil Diaz. Get hype. In the meantime, we have to sit through some ugly baseball in April and May, perhaps longer. That will result in a boatload of losses, but that should dissipate a bit as the season goes on. Then again, I tend to be a glass half full kind of person. Links Orioles to celebrate life of Frank Robinson on April 6th School of Rock something like this was expected, of course, but the date was unknown. This will certainly be one of the most memorable nights at Camden Yards all summer. Orioles bring in former top prospect outfielder, Bird's Watcher the headline makes this seem more exciting than it really is. Mason Williams is a 27-year-old with 200 Major League Plate appearances. That said, he was solid 0 .293, 0 .331, 0 .398, 94 ops, in 51 games for the Reds last season. He may never play a game for the O's, but he gives them a nice depth piece at AAA for the time being. Orioles announce Williams signing and trade for Gudino, School of Rochmore on the Williams move plus some notes on Yeltsin Gudino, a 22-year-old that the Birds have added to high of Frederick. Orioles minor league rosters feature new assignments for top prospects Baltimore Sun there's no need for the organization to rush any of their prospects, and GM Michael Ives has made it clear that he wants to see youngsters graduate before progressing to the next minor league level. That gives added significance to Diaz starting with double Bowie. Nate Carnes embracing, opener, role for Orioles, press box does he really have an option? The guy needs to rejuvenate his career, and there is a strong likelihood that he will stretch out to a traditional starter at least a couple of times this season. He's one of the few pitchers on the roster with some sort of track record as a big league starter. The O's will need him to play a significant role, or the bullpen could be gassed by June. Orioles' birthdays and history is at your birthday. Happy birthday! I'm sorry to say that no current or former Orioles players have birthdays to celebrate today. A couple of notable baseballers that do turn another year older Alex Bregman, B. 1994, and Chris Sale, B. 1989. So, that's nice for them, 2011 Major League Baseball selects two fans to take part in this MLB fan cave. One of them is Baltimore native and future Orioles PA announcer Ryan Wagner.